Hey y'all, it's Fines Girl. What's happening? Everybody have a good weekend? Mine was pretty good, I guess, um, you'd say. The dear hubs and I went out and did a little shopping, went out of town, did a little shopping, um, ate, had some Cold Stone ice cream. Uh, actually, we had Cold Stone for um, supper last night, <laughs> so uh, that was good. Hadn't had it in a while. Uh, we actually don't have one here in town. We had one, but it went out of business, so that was a shame. Because um, I really like ice cream. It's really odd, though, because um, um, growing up, I mean, I liked ice cream, but I wasn't just bananas over it, you know? And uh, it wasn't until I got to be an adult that I really started liking it a whole lot. So, um I know I eat too much of it probably, but <laughs> like I said, I don't get to go to Cold Stone very often and thoroughly enjoyed what I got last night. Um, anyway, um, I went to a few dollar stores and I went to Hobby Lobby and today I'm going to share with you what I got at um, one of the dollar stores and I also have an Amazon package that I'm going to share with you. And the other stuff I got, I'll be sharing in uh, additional videos because this one would be way too long if I added it all in. So, let me show you what I got. Okay. First thing, not really exciting, but unless you're a dog. And my dogs love these little treats. We took uh, Nova with us and she um, wouldn't eat her snacks. Um, so that I took with me and I thought well maybe she'll eat this and I tried to give her one and she just pushed it back wouldn't take it and she loves them when she has them at home and no we did not leave, leave her in the car while we were eating um, we just had fast food so nothing exciting just fast food and she sat in the car with us while we ate and she behaved herself she just didn't want to eat her treats okay so I picked her up some and the other dogs and the next thing I picked up is um, these Crafter Square stickers. Uh, one says Hocus Pocus, Witch's Brew, and Spooktacular. But I had um, some of the others that I think were in this series. They were the darker ones that had the dark colors like gray, black, and the purple. Um, but I hadn't seen this one yet, and so I thought this one was pretty cool. I couldn't pass it up. I really like the crow and the owl. I think those are cool. And that, that's nice. So, here's what they look like up close. If you see them, you need some cool stickers. Pick these up. These are kind of creepy looking. You know, some people like fun Halloween. Some people like creepy or... For some people, creepy is their fun. So I guess um, really uh, creepy is my fun as far as Halloween. The scarier, the better. Okay, um, next I picked up some of these clips that we've all seen. These have been around for, I don't know how many years. I know several years. The six pack of the DIY clips. And of course, these are the witches that have been, I guess, pushed over into their cauldron by someone that didn't want to be in there themselves, I suppose. So, anyway, um, and they have, you know, the paper clips on the back, but you can easily, I'm sure, pull the clip off if you just want to use the front. And you can paint these, you can use markers, um, maybe colored pencils if you have really strong tips on your pencils. I don't know, I wouldn't use colored pencils. I would probably use markers. It's just easier but um, I picked up these and I picked up the bats the bats are really cute I think they're cute so the witches you get six the bats you get four because you, as you can see they're a lot bigger same concept the clips take those off paint them color them whatever okay and the next set I got I got the jack-o'-lanterns. And I don't know if I've seen these before. I'm sure they probably have been out, but I don't remember. So they're very cute. And like you see, 
you only get four of those too because they're pretty large and those would be fun to color actually those would be fun to color like with um i might would do one in uh just orange and do, do one with various shades of orange just to be different and maybe one in i don't know black and gray who knows you can make them whatever color you want just to be different i'd probably do that and then the last set I got, I didn't get every set they had. The last set um, I got was the ghost. And as you can see, you get six of those. See, boo. And same clip. And what I thought I would do with these is I may make, let me see if I can hang them together. I might make a banner, a hanging banner for my little Halloween display using all of these, paint them up, or maybe I'll use them nat the natural color. I don't know yet. I got to decide. And I don't know if I'd use all of them. If I don't use all of them for that, I'm just going to stick them on some other things. I'm not sure yet, you know, what I'm going to use them for. You could put them on like if you had a small wreath that you were making, you could pull the backs off and glue the paint them, glue these on the wreath. That would be really cute. Or you could um, pluck them off and glue them on and leave them natural. Whatever you want, you could. Heck, you could put some of these on the wreath and um, add some of those little tiny leather pumpkins that they sell, or um, the li the little. Um, fuzzy cotton ones or any of the little ones I'd say that would be cute on there with these so that's probably what I'm gonna do something like that with these either the banner or a wreath and the next thing I got there um, was this cute tray I think that is so gorgeous to put candy in. That's so cute. I'm going to put that on my table. And they had one in kind of a dark gray, almost black, and one in orange. But they had different pictures. Um, the orange one, I think, just said Happy Halloween. And the, the dark gray one, mm, I don't remember what it had on it. But this one, to me, was cute. I like the fact that it's you know purple which is different I like purple for Halloween and the haunted house is what sold me because I like haunted houses I like stickers of haunted houses pictures of haunted houses I like haunted houses I like to go to um, haunted houses at Halloween my husband and I went to one at um, Sandusky and um, I took him there for one of his uh, special Halloween, I mean special, um, birthday celebrations. It wasn't his birthday, his birthday is in June, but I planned a trip for us um, for Halloween because I wanted to go to this particular thing. And so we went and we went to um, this Halloween. Uh, haunted house and actually it's the best one I've ever been to so that was pretty cool and anyway so if it's got a haunted house on it I like it okay next thing I got there is another sign and I believe that rather than hanging this one up I'm going to put it on a wreath we have a Halloween wreath already that, and I think I'm going to take the bow off of it and put this sign on, which was really, really cool to me. Look at that skeleton. He looks kind of scary. He's re really scary. And the spider actually is like 3D. He's sticking up on there. I don't know if you can see it. It's not flat. He's sticking out. And this, these letters are sticking out a little bit, made with glitter. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. I think that was really cool. Look at that crow. And actually, I'm touching that spider, although it's 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 kind of triggering <laughs> it's because I have severe arachnophobia. But anyway, I think that I'm going to put that in the middle of my Halloween um, wreath and 
put that on the door. Maybe. Or maybe it'll end up somewhere else. Maybe on my mantle or... I'm not sure yet. That's just the idea I have at the moment. I have a lot of Halloween stuff, so I got to think of a lot to do. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. I got some of the hand soap. I like this one, the juicy orange. like anything citrus, maybe because I'm a Florida girl. But um, somehow the top came off in the bag. Fortunately, it didn't pour all over the place. I'm gonna have to see if I can get that back together without making a mess. Not sure how that happened. I needed some dry shampoo because um, I'm almost out. I usually keep several different kinds, some travel ones some for when I travel and some regular ones from when I don't. And I'm almost out of all of them. And they didn't have the large ones that they usually have there. Because I have found large ones. But I found this one. The Power Stick. Pure floral scent. I don't know if any of you have tried it. They had a, um, a regular one too. I think it said original. But I thought this one smelled good. So I'm going to try it. See if it works well. Anyway, and the next thing I got there, actually the last thing I got there was some Citrus Love Hair and Body Mist. It says, mist your beautiful body from head to toe, an amazing scent. Smile and head out into this magical world. You've got this. Spray on hair and or body anytime you want to smell pretty and feel refreshed. So, it looks like that and it smells wonderful. There we go with that citrus thing again. Citrus love. So if you see that, pick it up. I hadn't seen this before, so I don't know if it's new or um, if it's been there a while or whatever. It says made in Turkey, in case you're wondering. So, try it. See if you like it. Smells fantastic. Let me just spray a little bit. Oh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yep, wonderful. Try it out. Okay, that's all of my Dollar Tree haul. Wait a minute, let me get a sip of drink. My mouth is dry. I guess that was more of a, more than a sip. <laughs> Um, I got a package from Amazon right here. I actually have some more stuff that are supposed to come this week. Sorry for the noise. This one actually came early. So that was nice. I ordered um, two of the nice little town coloring books. I've got the first six and I have a Halloween one. Um, I know there's a Christmas one, there's another Halloween one, and I think she actually has, at this point, 11, um, just regular ones. And, um, they're basically about a little mouse town. And they got the cutest pictures, so I'm up to number seven, adult coloring book, looks like that really really cute that covers gorgeous got pretty little colors pretty little mice cute houses <clears throat> excuse me i've been feeling like my sinuses are gonna get stirred up my allergies like i'm gonna get a sore throat so sorry about that but anyway um some of the pictures or like this. I hope you can see. I know the sun's kind of doing something weird on the glass. Uh, I don't know. You can see or not. Let me just show you. Anyway, this particular artist, she does great coloring books. I am very, very impressed with them. They have so much detail and they're really fun to color. And it's called Nice Little Town. 
The mice have a nice little tail. They're always so fancy, like they'll have a teacup house or a pumpkin house or all kinds of things like that. Um, very, very, very cute. So I would, if you like doing adult coloring, um, I would suggest you pick one of these up. Lots and lots of fun, lots of pages, gorgeous. And you know, these take you a while to um, color. You know, they're not like those, like a kid's coloring book that only has a little bit. These are very detailed, but easy to color. And I highly recommend them. And my goal is to collect every single one that she puts out because they're all good. So anyway, I got number seven. And I got number eight. In number eight, it looks like Mouse is going out to sea or something. I don't know. He's doing that. They're very colorful. And here's some of the pictures on the back. That's kind of cool. And got that. That's just where you can put your name in your book. So cute. I love doing these things. It's so relaxing. It's something I like to do a whole lot. If I'm stressed or something, I can sit down and work on one of these for a few hours or a couple of them for a few hours and um, I'm good to go. So if you need something to de-stress, try one of these. These are awesome. And they were only, hmm, I think about $5.99, I believe, is what these, the price on these. So that's not bad. Because some of my other ones that are basically about this thick, um, or, you know, about $12, $13. $5.99, dollars that's not bad. And usually at the end, she does some, I'm trying to find it. Okay. She'll show some of her illustrations from her other books towards the end. So you can kind of get an idea of some of the things you might see. Like this one for Halloween. That was cool. Oh, oh God, I can't turn pages. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard to do. Or cute girls, that's in one of them. I'm not sure which. That must be a totally different type. I haven't seen that one. So obviously she does the other ones because there's Magic Mask. Great Lions. Steampunk Volume 2, etc., etc., etc. But as for me, I recommend The Nice Little Town because those are great. I mean, look at this little complicated house. I'm not sure where that's supposed to be. It's quite complicated. There's a lot of stuff in there. So anyway, I recommend these. Might want to check them out. Get some on Amazon. It's the only place I've ever seen them. And that's it. Oh, one other thing. I want to show you my shirt. It's from Shein. It says be happy. Whoops, Ooh, camera's falling. Be happy, because I like bees. And I love my shirt, and my husband bought me this bee necklace, which I absolutely adore, to go with it. And this is a pair of my bee earrings. This is the largest pair I have. I have a small pair, too. I have at least two. I might have three pair. I'm not sure. No, I think I have two. I have so many earrings, it's kind of hard to keep up. But, yep, yeah, I have this. And I like to wear it with the necklace. And with the shirt. And if you don't shop at Shein, I highly recommend it, too. Because they have some awesome stuff there. Most of my um, 
uh, sneakers come from there because they have Rocket Dog, and I don't know if you know about Rocket Dog, but they have some really cool, cute sneakers. So, I suggest you check it out. Well, I'll be back probably uh, Wednesday or Thursday with my next um, haul, and that one's going to be a Dollar Tree haul, bigger than this one, and the next one. Uh, will probably be the Hobby Law Hobby Lobby God I can't talk today Hobby Lobby Hall and um, then um, I'll have another Dollar Tree coming up too so I hope everybody has a good week until I get back here and stay safe um, have a good time try to have a good time uh, try not let all the stresses of the world get to you love your loved ones give them a hug and a kiss tell them you love them and um, let me know if you like this uh, this video like subscribe hit that notification bell and I will see you in a few days bye bye now